dating somebody, are there anything you're looking for in terms of like red flags, things you want to avoid? A player. You hate players. Yeah. Guys, don't be players. <laughs> I've never been on the Tinder date either. Really? I was okay, on the so apps you just have a little while, a while ago, but I just never like did the whole follow through. So it's it's hard, I yeah. feel, to use dating apps, which is why we're bringing you into this podcast. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kendall Long, and this is the Down to Date podcast where we bring together two complete strangers to see if they are down to date. We have Taylor and Hunter here. So, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so, we are going to break the ice a little bit. We are going to start off with a little bit of a game, a story time game. Okay. So, one of you guys is going to start, and you guys have to tell your entire life story in one minute in as much detail as possible. Yeah. Judging by that silence. <laughs> Hunter automatically is just like Taylor. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you, well, I think you knew. Knew the, what did I know? Do I say? Oh, go for it. No, please be open. Yeah, Do ahead. what? Okay, so I'm actually originally from South Africa. South Very Africa? Cool. Yeah. Oh, wait, we haven't have you. We haven't started your minute yet. Oh. Oh, this is a minute oh, time. Oh, no, okay. you go. Oh, no, you go first. <laughs> oh, no, Ladies Taylor, first, Taylor you've intrigued me with South Africa. Yeah, I feel seriously. like I'm a little... That, no? I think I did know yeah, that as did. well. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, so we have a minute on the clock. Are you ready, Taylor? Okay. All right, on your mark, get set, go. So I was actually born and raised in Durban, South Africa, and I moved here in 2008. Um, pretty much just started high school here, and um, now I am still going to college and I'm doing all that online, working full time, and um... <laughs> you got more. You got more. You have 40 seconds left. Yeah, so much time. <laughs> Family, pets. <laughs> um, I just—it's my mom and I. Literally, just me and my mom. Um, and I'm an only child, and um, I have two cats, and I want dogs, but I don't have them yet. <laughs> and. Um, um, got you got, you got some time. You're great. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, sports. Oh, so yeah, I actually didn't play any sports, but I was a ballet dancer. Very cool. I quit ballet though my sophomore year. And of high that school. is a minute. Okay, <laughs> I think right. you got a significant amount yeah. in there like, for dancing. So. <laughs> that had to have been the most like calm, you know, like oh, I did this and then she this. You did not care about the timer and I was at looking all. At the timer, I was like, there's so much time left. <laughs> very very long. <laughs> the best way to do this is just to be calm, cool, and collected, and you yeah. have you have mastered yeah. that. Is there anything you feel like you wanted to add? Um, no, I guess let's. Go for it. Okay. I was going to say, Hunter, now all, right. all the pressure's on you. You okay. know, see if you'll be as cool, calm, and collected as Taylor. All right, we'll see. All right, we have a minute on the oh, clock. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, your mark, get set, <laughs> go. All right, um, I'm from San Diego. Uh, went to school in um, Arizona, University of Arizona for college. Graduated with a business degree. Moved from there to LA. Worked at ICM Partners, like a talent agency. Um, did that for like eight months out here and then uh, started doing all freelance videography, photography. Um, and uh, parents are divorced since I was like two. I got an older brother who's two years older than me, a little brother who's 16, and then two stepsisters. Um, played sports growing <laughs> up. I played golf a bunch um, and football. What else? Um, you guys oh both have ample amounts yeah, of time. It's not that easy, you're right. Um, yeah, just, hmm. that's pretty, my life story pretty much. <laughs> that's it, all it comes. That's it, yeah. You have five seconds. Um, pets. Pets, uh, I don't have any pets, but my roommates have pets, a couple dogs. Nice, all right, well that is yeah. a minute. Guys, I'll have to say, both of you guys have fit like all of your stuff within a minute and that normally doesn't happen. Honestly, oh. it's like when you're timed, you're like, Oh, what do I even say? Yeah, this exactly. Day? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's way like, yeah. I don't know. Do you feel like there's anything you guys had in common, Hunter? Um, definitely not from South Africa. <laughs> yeah, but, um, I'm like definitely not from here. Hmm. I mean, not um, yet so far. I feel like. Well, I'm actually going to school for business marketing. Oh, very cool. So, all right. So now that we got all the surface level out of the way, it feels like mm -hmm. there wasn't too much surface level. We got out of the way. Much, yeah. We're gonna go on to a little bit more of like a difficult section. So this that I have here is the jar of questions you never want to bring up on a first date. Wow, okay. Oh, it is no. chock <laughs> full of questions that you really want to avoid okay. with the other person. So because Taylor was so nice and she went first, Hunter, you are going to be going first <sighs> Yay. with the questions. So give it a good shake. I cannot wait. All right, here you go. All right. 
ever have any evil thoughts? Oh, oh. evil thoughts. <laughs> you mean like? I don't know. You tell me, Hunter. <laughs> um, I really don't really have very many evil thoughts ever. I don't think I'm pretty lighthearted, like in most things. Um, evil thoughts, like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe What like kind of evil. I shouldn't、thinking? eat that chocolate cake, but I really want to eat it.、Mm. No, I'll eat it like every time.、Really? Yeah. yeah, you can manage your instincts. Yeah,、mm-hmm. just gotta do it. <laughs> How about you, Taylor? Any evil thoughts? Um, I think I'm pretty like go with the flow. I do get ra- road rage. I think、oh. that's、okay. where my evil thoughts okay, come from. For sure, <laughs> road rage counts as evil thoughts. Yeah, right? hands down. I feel down. that. I don't really get road rage ever. <laughs> yeah,、so. I've wished some pretty evil things on、yeah, people that I've been driving、uh, okay. behind. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's like yeah,、laugh. like not that I'll stab them, but maybe I've said it like out loud a few times. I would <laughs> yeah, never、definitely. act on it. Right, no. right. All right, Taylor, your turn. Oh gosh. Okay. Who is your hottest friend? Oh wow! All、Fresh、right, it's getting down. <laughs> <laughs> um, you better say me. No, <laughs> Kendall Long, obviously. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, putting me on the spot with this one.、Yeah. I feel like my friends are gonna be like, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, oh my gosh, my hottest friend. Uh, my friend McKenna, she's pretty hot. Ooh, McKenna. Yeah. All right. <laughs> McKenna, we think you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Hunter? Now you have to answer this question、um, too. Am I talking about like one of my guy friends? Like, yo, he、yeah. kills it. Or am I talking about? I, I know. I'm like, yeah. Friend you know? in general could be guy or girl. You know. Um. Hmm. I think. Bella's new boyfriend, I'm friends with, named Ben. He's like this Italian pop star. He's just like such、oh. a good-looking guy. Italian like, pop star. That's on, like、man. not even like, fair. Hands、exactly. down. Okay, way to win yeah, this one. Yeah, he kills it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. All right. Another question, Hunter. All、Hunter's. right, let's do it. Oh, he chose a pink one. Do you have any bad habits? Ooh.、Mm. Ooh. Bad habits. Um, I don't. Really no, I feel like maybe one bad habit is I kind of like will say yes to a bunch of things without knowing for sure I can do it or not, and then the day comes and I'm like, oh shit, I have like five things I'm supposed to do that are all the same exact time. So I could probably say that's probably a bad habit. Maybe like oh dang, overcommitting yourself. Yeah, overcommitting、like、for sure. I... Yeah,、I、do that often. Does, yeah, does you're in the back.、Count? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are stealing each other's bad habit. That's fine. <laughs> no, I feel like I do that a lot though. I'm like yes, yes, and then when it comes down to that time, I'm like.、Oh, I don't、yeah. know. I don't have time. I'm so glad that you guys both decided to do the podcast and actually do the podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hopefully, it wasn't one of those things you didn't want to do. <laughs> no, I texted you the day off. Not、oh、gonna God, happen. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a really cool podcast. It's just you and I. Right. You know? Fine. <laughs> All right, Taylor, choose another one. They're not that bad. Yeah, you know? this could be way worse. Do we give children too many trophies? Ooh. I mean, no. I feel like they're kids, and if they're doing something, you know, that deserves a gold star. But nowadays, are there too many? Oh, I don't know. Hunter、yeah. seems to have an opposing <laughs> view. I'm、really? pretty sure I think that we do. I think because、really? we're giving out too many like participation trophies now, and it's like removing like the the feeling of like you won, so you get this like prize. That's true. That, like, I think maybe you gotta have. So have Hunter to wants to take the trophies away from the children. It sounds yeah, really like, bad. <laughs> Don't want to take away. Like they're just little kids. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that too. I can agree though. I feel like you know you work so hard, and to see that everyone gets the same exact prize as you, it can be frustrating. Yeah. No, yeah, I see that. I see your point for sure. But I just feel like when they're kids, and they, I mean, obviously, like I only reward good behavior or like good、right. work or whatever. But that's fair.、Yeah. I have to say that. Are you guys one of those people that keep the trophies from your childhood, or your mom keeps the trophies from your childhood, like in your even, home? I don't think I ever like won anything. Really, I, <laughs> I don't think I really had any I, trophies growing up. So I'm surprised you're on the side of not getting trophies. Yeah, yeah I actually won one trophy in ballet, and I had to share it, so I didn't even get to keep it.、Um, Who got to keep? Yeah, that's why I understand. I don't understand. Whenever there's a big team event and everyone gets that one trophy, who actually keeps the trophy? Like the coach Isn't it like? It or something, is it like, the? Co- oh, I thought I it was、know. like the captain or something. Well, maybe. Freaking、mm. captain、I、would steal the trophy. Yeah, yeah seriously. <laughs> the, so you weren't the team captain. No. Well, I mean, it was we were doing like an awards thing, and I won like most promising dancer, but it was、Ooh. me and this other girl,、cool. and I don't know where it is. I think maybe she, she probably stole it, and、mm-hmm. her mom has it on the mantle. Yeah, because I got it、that. first, and then she got it after me. So claiming she, the only、yeah. person 
Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I won this trophy, not even. <laughs> but I'm pretty cool. sure my name's on there, so it's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that matters. Yeah. Shall we do one more? You guys feeling brave? Yeah, why not? All right. All right. It's a moment of truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like the long the color one. pink? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> What are your thoughts on same-sex marriage? Oh, okay. I'm really cool with it. Like, a couple of my best friends just yeah, got married. Yeah, I'm pretty cool with it. They're awesome. I feel like we live in a time where we have to accept that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. All love. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, hands down, I feel like that's almost a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah exactly. That. I'm glad that everyone's on the. I'll also be fighting with someone. Yeah. Right exactly. now. I, there would probably be some drama <laughs> there would be some happening problems going down. Yeah. All right. So those are the crazy questions. We're actually going to be getting into something that's a little bit more fun after we come back from the break. Game cool. time. Cool. Woo! Exciting. All right. So we will come back and see you guys then. This is Down to Date. I'm here with Taylor and Hunter. See you soon. Cool. All right. We are back in the studio with Taylor and Hunter both seeing if they are down to date. We're going to switch it up a little bit, do a little bit of game time, have a little bit of fun. So what we're going to do is a debate. Are you guys any, you guys good debaters? Taylor, are you a good debater? Mm, don't know. Not the best either. <laughs> <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm pretty go with the flow. Yeah, me too. <laughs> guys, I want to see some passion <laughs> right. behind this debate because it's a, it's a right. riveting debate. And I All think, right. I, speaking with you, Taylor, I think this is something that maybe you would have a lot of passion about. Okay. Should animals rule the world? And so this is the debate. I'm going to give you guys each... <laughs> Each aside to defend Taylor, I'm gonna say you want animals to rule the world. Yeah, Hunter, I do. you don't want animals to rule the world. Of not. You know that'd it's be ridiculous. absolute madness. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we're gonna start with Hunter. You're gonna give us a minute debate okay. as to why you think animals should not rule the world. I mean, you know, the basic fact of the matter is that animals cannot speak English, and um, you know, you can't really <laughs> rule, rule the world without talking to people. And then, like, if animals rule the world, then they you know, run government and then everything must go like crazy because they can't obviously work on anything. So um, I'd really just say no, there's no way possible animals could or should rule the world. The world will turn to chaos. It's, it's not, it's not going to happen. <laughs> not. Short, sweet, and to the point. Exactly. Hunter says animals should not rule the world because they don't speak English. <laughs> That's which is no. a valid point. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. or any language really, you know. So. I mean, maybe like bat. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know what that. There's some kids that start walking around going bat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do we have the universal. With them? What if you change uni the universal languages now? Sheep. That could be a whole new what thing. What if we all just learn animal? All right, I'm not, no, I feel like you, <laughs> have, you, some, you have some passion. Taylor has some passion behind yeah. it. All right, a minute on the clock. We will see. You think animals should rule the world. Why? I think animals should rule the world. I think they're pretty innocent. And I mean, if we all loved and felt like them, there would probably be no evil. Because, I mean, besides like, you know, natural selection. <laughs> Fair. But um, I mean, yeah, if we all just learn animal talk, <laughs> we could probably get, you know, get somewhere. Man. Mm. Yeah, you both have short, <laughs> sweet answers. Mm. All right, now you guys have to go back and forth. So what do you have to say to Taylor? Um, I understand your point for sure, <laughs> trust me. But um, I just, just no. <laughs> just no. Just no. Just simple yeah, as that, no, though. Unfortunately, it's just not an option. I thought you cars. were more like go with the flow, you I know? am really able to go with the flow, but... I really have to stay with the whole no side that she gave me. So <laughs> I just feel like, I mean, they're just so innocent and they, I mean, they don't have a voice. So I feel like we should be their voice. Wow. So kind of like controlling them is what you're saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I have to say, you know, I almost have to draw a tie between both of you guys because I feel like. In my heart of hearts, I feel like a dog can probably do way better than me at presidency. But also right. in my heart of hearts, I feel like it's so difficult to learn how to speak dog. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's just straight up tie, guys. Straight, straight, straight up tie. I'm cool with that, cool with that yeah. too. All right. Also, I want to try. I want to try a another game. Actually, this is a game that I'm actually experimenting with, and I think you guys would do pretty good with it. I want each of you guys to come up with a three line poem about each other. <laughs> oh, I am so bad at poems. Oh, I'm it doesn't, it doesn't Did you have, think I was going to be It doesn't yeah. have to rhyme. <laughs> it doesn't have to rhyme, guys. I just see the passion in you guys. I feel like, you know, Taylor, you have to go first. Three-line oh. poem about Hunter oh, based off man. of what you know about him so far. Um, um, I think you're very sweet. I think you're passionate about what you're doing in life. I think, is this a poem? I don't know. Are you just complimenting me? <laughs> yeah, a poem <laughs> Use your artistic creativity. Does it have to rhyme? Or no, maybe it doesn't have it's to like rhyme. It's like a haiku. It's like three words. Yeah. 
can you go first? Well, oh, yeah. I to oh um, wow. Okay, uh, switched over really quick. Um, <laughs> um, you know, you were really doing so good to start, so I would hate to like take away your uh-huh. your shine. Um, okay, so let's think. <laughs> yeah, this is a freestyle now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'd say something like you're from South Africa, which is very unique, very cool. You're also very pretty and very smart, I can tell. Something like that. Snaps, snaps. snaps I love it. I <laughs> love it. All right, Taylor, now the pressure's on you again. I'll oh, give you the man. beat. I feel I'm like the so beat bad helped. At poems. <laughs> Ready? Okay, you're from San Diego. <laughs> well, not the same you're part. very sweet. <laughs> I think you like animals. And um, I think you have some good points about why animals shouldn't be. <laughs> All right. So after that wonderful music performance done by Taylor and Hunter, I think we need to take a little bit of a break. Quite right. So yeah. <laughs> coming up, you're going <laughs> just a little bit of a break after that. So coming up after this, we are going to go in depth. There's some really hardcore questions. See you guys later. All right, we just finished with game time. I am back here with Taylor and Hunter, and we are going to get really serious now with some questions. So in front of you guys, you each have a stack of flashcards. We're gonna start with Hunter. You're going to read the first one. Uh, Taylor's going to answer it first, and then you are going to answer it. You ready? Let's pull from the top. Oh yeah. All right. Unless you're crazy and you wanna go somewhere in the middle. What would you like to to have happen to your body after you die? Oh. Um, I actually, my friend just asked me this question the other day, and I feel feel like like this is like cremation or like right you can do whatever you want with your body after you die it's up to you i mean i feel like i wouldn't want to be buried cremated Fair. <laughs> why cremation burning in the fiery dust <laughs> but that's why like i don't like neither but like I, I don't know you can like spread your ashes around that's true true instead of just being like under the you ground you can actually choose your final resting place if you oh, yeah. are yeah. cremated because you can bring those ashes everywhere and you no. can tell your family like spread me in the ocean mm-hmm. <laughs> could definitely do that <laughs> how about you hunter what do you even do with your body after you die um i definitely want to donate like any organs that can be donated you know i don't know how i'm going to die yet so that's kind of up um but i do want to be cremated as well and then like maybe spread them like, on the beach or something like that right and my mom wants her ashes spread on this like, hiking trail we used to do so that's Oh, there's so much memory with you know, know. places you can spread. I just always think, like, how many places have I walked and things have I have I accidentally, like, eaten in the wind someone's ashes? Like, I always worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe. You know what I'm scared of? Like, what if they mix up your ashes and give, like, your ashes to somebody else? Mm. Oh, you're I mean, forever intertwined with somebody Ralph else like from weird. Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like those weird addiction shows where people, like, some people just, like, eat ashes. Oh, no. Have you seen that? They're, like, they're, like in love people with People eat the weirdest things. The weirdest things. Yeah, yeah no. Like, have you ever oh, eaten ashes, Hunter? Next you might question. have. That was a pause. <laughs> that was a pause. <laughs> All right, Taylor. Okay. What would you want to be an expert in? Hmm. I guess like human psychology, I like to like understand like people's brains like way more, like why people think the way that they think. That's pretty good. Pretty cool. Oh, why? Uh, I'm just like very curious about like people. I'm really interested in like why people think the way they do and why people act the way they do. And I think like, you know, it'd be like a cool. Very cool thing to be an expert in. Yeah, I'd love that. Nice. So basically reading people's minds. Exactly. I like it. Mm. I like it. How about you, Taylor? I feel like I would want to be an expert in like astronomy. Mm. I feel like space is like a crazy concept. So I'd want to learn more yeah. about it. That's cool. Right? Yeah. Stars. Yeah. I, I think that. those kind of combine in like star signs and stuff like that in some ways. Yeah. Like the psychology of how people are the way they are. Yeah. And also, you know, the stars. The stars and the planets. Do you planets. believe in signs? Is that something, Hunter? Yeah, I think they're cool. I mean, I don't like read mine like every day or anything like that, but. Like your horoscope and yeah, stuff? Yeah, like horoscope and stuff, yeah. What yeah. is your sign? I'm a Libra. A Libra. Mm. What's your sailor? Pisces. Pisces. So yeah, I'm sorry, I have no go. idea if those no go idea. together, yeah. but uh, for no, the sake they of the don't. podcast. Oh, they don't. Yeah, they yeah. don't? <laughs> oh. Just kidding. All right, guys. No, the podcast. Like, anyway. <laughs> no, my. I actually. I know all of my. Like my moon, my rising, and my rising and my moon. It well, my rising's Gemini, my moon's Libra. Oh, so what they that means, say. But... Yeah, so they're one and the same. I, well, they say your your moon sign is how you are like emotionally and like in relationships. I think. So. Yeah. Okay. So cool. you are him in relationships. Basically. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Next question. Okay. 
God. What scares you about yourself, our world, and the future? Um, I think just the normal, like, is the world going to end? Like, did you feel the earthquake? I didn't. Oh, my gosh. I was riding, a, I was riding like, a bike in the dirt, and, like, I just, like... That's probably thing. the best place to be when the right? earthquake happens. I was at nowhere. Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> and a roller coaster? No. Oh my gosh. I was in line, but have you been on the Jaguar? Like, um, it's like no. in the pyramid, like underneath. Yes, mm. I have. I ran out of there. That's probably really scary. I was so scared. Yeah. The walls were like shaking. Oh no, I'm staying in that line. I'm gonna be first. <laughs> no, oh, no, I'll wait for gone. me. Yeah. I'm committed. I grew up in California. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. That's funny. <laughs> um, so what scares you about yourself? Oh, myself. Um, myself. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm happy with, like, who I am today. I feel like when I was younger, I was still trying to figure out my life. And I don't know. <laughs> Maybe your future scares you or where you're going to go in the future or maybe yeah i do i have road those rage moments. maybe scares you yeah no i have those <laughs> moments where i'm like what am i doing and but i you know i'm a christian so i do have you know faith and i feel like i'll be put on the right track obviously i'm not like sitting back but <laughs> yeah no it's good it's good i mean yeah. live life with no fear yeah i like it looking life right in the <laughs> eyes <laughs> how about you hunter you have to have some fears um, I guess, like, a fear of, like, not, like, being at my full potential and, like, not being, like, as successful as I could be if I actually worked harder and, like, things like that. So that's for sure, like, an initial fear to have. Um, what what else was it? Excuse me, yourself, our world, the future. Um, yeah, so our world, you know, the world ending. Yeah. Earthquake. I, could just, I know, do. I think about that. I'm like, anytime. oh, my yeah. goodness. Um, and, yeah, just the future, same thing. Just, like the unknown it's just like really weird for me especially doing i do like a lot, a lot of like freelance type stuff mm -hmm. so you don't know when your next video is going to come or a photo shoot is going to come so it's just kind of yeah there. give me props for that yeah. cuz i i need my paycheck i need yeah. like you know yeah solid <laughs> i know it's coming at the end of the month mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i know how much i'm making and yeah I yeah too. i think yeah. it's your turn to take another question okay. taylor oh no <laughs> which typically not domestic domesticated animal would least mind being stranded in an elevator with? Would you least mind being mm. stranded? We can re 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 Which typically not domesticated animal would you least mind being stranded in an elevator with? Dang. Maybe like uh, a little monkey. Oh my like, gosh, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I think a little monkey would be cool. Why a little monkey? I just like love monkeys. I never, I I never had like held one before and like that's a dream too but i think either like a monkey or like maybe like a penguin too oh, oh penguins my gosh are chill they just penguins. be like what the heck's they just, happening they just kind of chill yeah out. exactly like, monkeys i almost feel like either they're like they're really really sweet or mm -hmm. they're gonna bite you or they'll go psych and don't they have rabies yes rabies oh. is a huge thing it's I not domesticated the penguin. maybe the penguin yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they'll peck you to death yeah maybe that too. <laughs> so taylor you choose penguin i would choose penguin all right why penguin because they're small and cute, and I don't really think they can harm you. I yeah. guess. Mm. Well, elevator it is with a <laughs> yeah, penguin. Might as well. I mean, I can't yep. say I can't say that's like a very strategic answer. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll be happy with a penguin in an elevator anytime. <laughs> <Yeah>. Any day, <laughs> I welcome penguins in my elevator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so those are the in-depth questions. We're going to take a little bit of a break, and coming cool. up next, we are going to get down and honest. Oh, excited! All oh. about it. We all have those moments where there's just something in the way of our happiness. I know I have those moments in life where I feel like, you know, life is just not as good as I want it to be. But BetterHelp is there to help you. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed therapist professional. So it's individual for you. And if the therapist that you are assigned isn't working for you, no problem. You can go to a different therapist. You can start communicating in under 24 hours, which is super speedy. It's not a crisis online. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. So guys, none of your information that you are 
disclosing to your therapist is going to be going in anyone else's hands. The service is available for clients worldwide. So no matter where you are, you can get help when you need it. You can log to your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. So they are definitely there for you whenever you need them. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. So if you want to talk on the phone, that's good. If you want to do it face to face on video, I know I personally like to have it face to face, then that is definitely an option for better help. And it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. So if you're struggling a little bit with money, I know therapy can definitely be really expensive. This is just a great alternative to having to go and drive all the way to an office and see someone in person. You can more so do it on your phone. I mean, we do st everything on our phones now. We even find matches on our phone. So I think this is definitely a great way to do that. Visit betterhelp.com slash long. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, and join the over 500,000 people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Special offer for down-to-date listeners gets 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash long, L-O-N-G. Did you know that a good night's sleep is like a magic remedy for the brain and body? When we sleep well, we're more focused and relaxed. And best of all, sleep makes us happier. I feel like I am the happiest person to deal with when I've had a lot of sleep and why I don't have enough sleep. You do not want to cross my path. And that's why I am partnering with Calm, the number one app for sleeping. Sleep deficiency does serious damage, not just to your brain, but to your body as well. The sleepless are more prone to accidents, weight gain, and depression. I know I'm definitely grumpy after I don't get a night of sleep, but with Calm, you'll discover a whole library of programs designed to help you get the sleep your brain and body needs. Like soundscapes and over a hundred sleep stories narrated by soothing voices like Jerome Flynn from Game of Thrones and Stephen Fry. Also, my friend Nick Vial has a story on here, so definitely go and listen to his voice. It's very calm, very soothing. It puts you right to bed. It's funny. I actually want to be one of the narrators for this. Please let me. I feel like I have a very calming voice. I feel like I can put you guys to sleep, right? No? <laughs> right now, down to date listeners get 25% off a calm premium subscription at calm.com slash long. That's C A L M dot com slash long. 40 million people have downloaded Calm. Find out why at calm.com slash long. So after you guys listen to Down to Date, thank you very much, you guys should hop on over to Audible. Audible has the world's largest selection of audiobooks and audio entertainment. And that means there's a ton of books about relationships, about broken hearts, and how to recover from a broken heart. It is definitely the perfect place to go to get all of your amazing audiobooks. Audible keeps you informed, inspired, and entertained. You'll finish more stories when you listen with Audible and always be part of the conversation. Guys, I cannot agree with this more because as you're commuting, as you're working out, as you're doing so many things, you can't read and walk at the same time or we read and or at least I hope you're not reading and driving at the same exact time. The best way to do it is to do an audiobook and you also can go through them so much quicker. Audible members get more than ever before. Every month you can choose one audiobook regardless of price as well as two Audible originals from a fresh selection. One of the audiobooks that I highly recommend is The Science of Trust, Emotional Attunement for Couples. I think trust is one of the most important things in a relationship and this audiobook definitely is something you can look into. But if you guys don't like that one, Audible members can easily exchange any title they don't love at any time. So if you're not really feeling a book, you can just switch it out, which is extremely convenient. Start listening with a 30-day Audible trial. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash date or text date to 500500. Can't get any easier than that. That's Audible, A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash date, D-A-T-E. Or you can text date to 500-500. Honesty time. What are your first impressions of Hunter? I think he's really sweet. I think he's cute and he's ambitious. I, you know, obviously I want someone in my future that's ambitious. So I like that about him. Okay. Okay. Do you feel like uh, he's someone that you typically your type that you typically go typically go for? Yeah. I mean, I well, he's a little different. I feel like I obviously haven't had the best of luck in my relationship, so I have been like branching out to like different types of people. So yeah. All right. All right. I feel I feel good though. <laughs> so there's like a little bit of romance going on here. There's a little bit of romance. Hunter seems to be like kind of like a people pleaser. Yeah, I definitely see that. Yeah, I, I definitely see that. But I feel like 
I'm kind of a people pleaser too. Or you have that in common. Yeah, so we have that in common. And I hate disappointing people. Like I always, you know, want to make everything right. And I feel like I'm always the middleman between my friends too. So, and I see that in him too, I feel like. Okay, yeah. I mean, I have to say, I think you guys are like really similar. But in the stars, <laughs> do you think you are astrologically compatible? I don't think so. I mean, just from what I've read, I, you know, it doesn't. I, I've dated a Gemini before, actually two Geminis. Mm. And they say air signs and water signs, I don't think, go together. Really? Mm-hmm. But guys, air and water, that's how you go sailing. I, yeah. So your entire relationship could be like a boat ride. Exactly. Just sailing <laughs> through the waters. <laughs> sailing through waters. That's what I saw. You know? <laughs> but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. No. But I'm pretty sure they said air sign and water sign. Don't go. So Hunter's debate skills. Um... Could use a little work, <laughs> but so could I. <laughs> you guys were probably the least, like, that was, like, the least intense fighting debate. You're almost like, well, you could be right. Yeah, I see your point. But that's, I'm a people pleaser. I hate, like, you know, I I hate arguments. I mean, if I'm super, super passionate about something, like, I feel like I do want to stand my ground. But for the most part, I'm a Pisces. I go with the flow. Exactly. Again, you know, <laughs> guys, listen to the stars. But in this case, don't listen to the stars. Just in case. You never know. <laughs> we talked about the penguin in the elevator. Let's all talk about the penguin in the elevator, shall we? <laughs> I definitely feel like we had kind of the same answers. I mean, his monkey, I was thinking monkey, but then I thought about rabies and I was like, mm, I'd probably be stuck in a elevated with a penguin smart choice yeah I definitely penguin <laughs> yeah I feel like you guys are very similar in a lot of ways yeah I definitely I see that how do you think you how do you think you two are similar um I think we're similar I, I feel like you know he's ambitious I'm ambitious he's obviously you know he's finished college I'm still going to college um I feel like he has the same kind of like thought process as me which is good you know i I think you need someone that has like that same kind of passion and that same mentality to be successful. Hunter's like a really great solid guy, but were there any red flags that you noticed throughout? Um I mean, I feel like does he I mean, he travels a lot for work and stuff, right? I believe so. I believe he's a freelance, so it's unexpected. Yeah, I mean, I think in the beginning of a relationship someone that's like off on the go all the time, for me, I You know, I don't have the ability to just like take off and leave. So that might be not like a red, I guess, like not a red flag, but just something that might be, you know, might not work. Yeah. To be mindful of, to be prepared for just in case he has to be on the go. Mm -hmm. I can also, I will speak for Joe and I when we, um, both of us have jobs where we have to travel and all that. And it actually adds a little bit of fun mystery. You can come back and say all the little stories. Exactly. No, I, I, that's why I'm like, you know, it could work. I feel like I had a long distance relationship, my last relationship. And I mean, the only reason that worked for as long as it did is because we had already established a relationship prior to him moving. So, you know, and then it started getting more difficult because I could only go up there on the weekends. He could only come down on the weekends. So I have to agree. Yeah, it definitely it makes it harder, but it's doable. It's possible. If both, I mean, as long as you have that solid base, that yeah, foundation. Exactly. It's good. And so seeing how your guys' connection has happened, what do you think Hunter's answer is going to be is if he's down to date? Because at the end of this, we are going to ask you both if you are down to date. <laughs> what do you think Hunter's going to say? I mean, um, I guess it would depend on like his first impression of me. That's so true. I, maybe? That's I think so. For you to find out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring Hunter in here, and I'm going to get all of the questions. Okay. Right? (laughs) Honesty time. All right. So Taylor walks in the room. I want to know what your first impression is. Okay. Um, Very pretty. Cool girl. Um, She seemed, like, a little shy. So I kind of, like, I go at the level of whoever, like, I'm talking to, I think, most of the time. Like, I'll either be, like, you know, quiet if they're quiet or, like, more upbeat if they're upbeat. So I kind of got, like, more of a quiet vibe from her. Um, but, uh, yeah, she was cool, pretty, you know, initial. I have to agree. I feel like you guys are so similar in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you feel like you guys are similar? Um, I think that the way that she talks about, um, school, she's like, you know, in business school as well. I went to business school. Um, 
you know, she also likes weird animals, I can tell. Penguins. Penguins and monkeys. So it's kind of weird. Um, and um, yeah, I just kind of feel like we just, a lot of the same conversation kind of flows pretty easily. So Yeah. And then we go to story time. And both of you guys held back in story time. I was expecting a lot of crazy details in story yeah. time. One thing that I wanted to talk about in story time is you have your own company. Mm -hmm. And so tell us a little bit about that. So I have a company called Make Sure Your Friends Are Okay. It's a, a company that's around mental health. Um, and we're donating proceeds to different mental health facilities and um, companies. And we just are trying to start a conversation around mental health and encourage people to have I think that's so important to have that conversation. Why did you not bring that up with Taylor I here? I was in the heat of the moment. Did not even think about it. But it's legit Awe like my baby. by her beauty, perhaps? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like that's such an important conversation to have. We're going to bring Taylor back in here. And we're going to talk about that. Love that. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had the rap battle mm. or poem battle, however you want to say it. Yeah, poem battle. Poem battle. Who kinda... do you feel? Do you feel like you or Taylor are winning this poem battle? Hmm. I think that um, <laughs> I think both of us lost. No. <laughs> I think both of us are losing this poem battle. I think oh. that we both weren't right. The beat came out of nowhere, I think. There's no rhyming. Yeah, there was no rhyming. There's no rhyming. But then again, do poems have to rhyme? Maybe not. I mean, I was thinking maybe I can go with more of a haiku or something like that. I like that. They don't really have to rhyme. Wait, do haikus rhyme? Maybe? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's haikus are very much like, I was once walking in the forest, leaves on the ground. <laughs> I think you're right. I think fall. that's exactly <laughs> fall. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that was a Guys, I would have made a poem book right now. Yeah, I think you should. I think that's the next move for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like really feeling passionate about this. Also with the beats, like I want to turn that to yeah, there you go. leaves on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that's the thing. That's it. I think there you can go. get a full Man, EP I going too. I won that yeah. competition. Yeah, next time. <laughs> um, and then we got down to the serious, serious question. So mm -hmm. right now we're, you know, aside from game time, right now it's getting pretty serious yeah. with the hardcore questions. Is there any anything that stood out to you with those Serious questions? Um, not really. I thought we, we could have gone even more deep, I think. We can even go further. I feel uh, like that, too. Why do you feel like... Um, I, I do feel like you're holding back right now. So why are you holding back? Um, I think I haven't been asked the question that would incline me to open more. I think she, also if she's kind of closed off as well. So I think maybe if she was more open, I'd be more inclined to be more open as well. That's true. I mean, it's, it's hard to open up if the person across from you isn't opening up. But how do you know that Taylor is not thinking the same thing? You know what? She might. She right? might think in the same exact way. <laughs> what do you think Taylor's answer is? Because at the end of this, we're going to be asking you guys if you're down to date. Mm -hmm. What do you think Taylor's answer is going to be? If she wants to date again? I think it might be up in there. She seems like she's having a good time, so hopefully she'd want to again. Um, yeah, so hopefully, yeah, I think. Oh, hopefully, yeah. yes. All right, so I feel like maybe you have a little interest in Taylor. Perhaps. <laughs> oh, okay. Mysterious man. Man of mystery. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. We're going to bring Taylor in and see if Taylor and Hunter are down to date. Sweet. All right, guys. Welcome back to Down to Date with Kendall Long. I have Taylor and Hunter here in the studio, and we are going to find out if they are down to date. I talked with Taylor, and I also talked with Hunter, and I got a little bit of insight on how they're feeling. So now is the moment of truth. Are you both ready? Yeah. You each have a card. Okay. You're going to reveal to the camera on the count of three if you are down to date. Okay. Okay. All right. Select your answers. I'm ready. All right. Taylor and Hunter, are you down to date? Reveal. Down? Down. <laughs> down. I was right. like, wait, sweet. did I? <laughs> All right. This is exciting. Yeah, Taylor and Hunter, awesome. you guys are both down to go on another date. Cool. Taylor, what was it about Hunter that made you want to go on another date? Um, I think I would want to, like, learn more about you. I feel like I got just, like, the basics, but you seem like a really cool guy, so, yeah. Cool. Hunter, why would you want to go on another date with Taylor? I'm the same thing. I don't really get to know you too well yet, so I yeah. think I'd like to actually get to know you outside of this as well, yeah. So glad that you guys are down to date. This has been Kendall Long with Down to Date, and regardless of the outcome, it's so great to, like, get in here and to really have those in-depth conversations that we normally don't have so make sure you guys rate subscribe follow we also have an instagram instagram down to date podcast so make sure to follow that if you guys want to get any updates and i will see you guys next time and see if our next couple is down to date <laughs>